Hey everyone, and welcome back to the series of solving different uh, questions to uh, prepare those who want to take the electrical A5 electronics exam uh, to uh, pass the requirements uh, for the PNG uh, in Ontario and other provinces in Canada. In the previous two examples, I talked about OPAM, and specifically I dealt with ideal operation amplifiers. But also you might be asked to consider one of the three different non-ideal characteristics in the operation amplifier. Today, we will cover the first one, which is the offset voltage. So before we solve the examples in one slide, I will try to shortly explain to you what is the offset voltage and how it can change our approach to the, to the problem. So basically, if you have an over operational amplifier, ideal one, and you connect these two to the ground, your V out will be equal to zero. That is for basically an ideal operational amplifier. However, in real operational amplifier, if you do that, you will find a finite DC voltage does exist. Why is that? Because there is an internal, what we call it, input offset voltage, VOS for short, that range from one to five millivolt. Now, how we can model this, how we consider that, basically we will have a DC supply equal to the value of the offset voltage connected always to the positive terminal. And here we will assume an ideal characteristic that this voltage and this will be equal and you will be equal to the V offset. How we can incorporate this in a problem? Let's see the following two examples. Now, this example basically is uh, in the exam of December uh, 2018. And in that specific example, let's read the question. The OBAM has an is an ideal one except for an input offset voltage of plus minus three millivolt. That is the only thing that is not ideal. And you are given the values of R1, R2, and R4. Each one of those is 100 kilo ohm, 100 kilo, and 100 kilo ohm. The R3 is one kilo ohm, and the C1 is very large, is very, very large value. Okay, now here we have an input, but the question here is asking you, what is the output DC offset voltage? What is the output? Not because of the input, but because of the DC offset. Now, when you are asked like that, you come and you ground your input. And then you will apply here your offset voltage VOS, which is equal to plus minus three millivolt. So if this is V offset here at the positive terminal, then this will be also V offset, okay? And now this is a DC analysis, okay? If it's a DC analysis, then your capacitor impedance ZC, which is equal to one over omega C, now omega is zero. So your ZC, and this is very large, but this is any number times C, it becomes equal to zero. 1 over the 0 is infinity, so this becomes an open circuit. If this is an open circuit, there is current here I equal to 0. There is no current equal to here. Now, yes, we considered one of the characteristics of the op-amp, which is the offset voltage, but still the current, the bias current that goes inside still equal to 0. We will consider that in the next slide. Okay, now we are set. Since the current here is equal to 0, then R2 and R4 will be in series. So the current here I is the same, the current there I. Okay, now we are ready to apply the uh, nodal analysis. So assume the current is leaving and the current here is basically is leaving. So apply KCL at, let me call this is node number one, at node number one. Okay, so VOS, minus zero, divide R1, which is 100 kilo. The current that is 
other one is leaving also plus VOS minus. Now, these two resistors, R2 and R4, we consider them in series. So this is becomes VOS minus VL divided by the 100 plus 100 kilo ohm because they are in series, which is 200 kilo ohm. And this is equal to zero. Let me multiply everything with 200 kilo. Then you will get 2VOS plus VOS minus VL equal to zero or 3VOS equal to VL. So you'll be out equal to three times plus minus three millivolt. So you would get plus minus nine millivolt. That is your output voltage due to the, to the offset. Now, if you wanna see the V output due to both V input and V offset, what you do, you now short circuit the offset and you assume that this is an ideal of M and you solve for this, for you find try to find V output due to the V input and then the V output using the principle of superposition, you just add this output voltage due to the offset and the output voltage due to an ideal of M. Let's see another question here. In this question, again, the input offset, uh, offset voltage is plus minus 5 millivolt, and we always connect it to the positive. So we have here plus minus your V offset, okay? and this will be your V offset. And this offset voltage is equal to plus minus 5 millivolt. And by the way, this is the this is uh, comes in the exam of December 2016. Otherwise, the amplifier considered as ideal. So the only thing here you need to take care of is basically your uh, offset voltage. That's it. So the current that goes into here is also equal to equal to zero. Find the output offset voltage. I want to find V out due to the offset voltage. Again, we have here a V input. I will come and ground this. So this will become equal to, uh, to zero. Now, this node is V out, this node is V O S. So what is this? This is, I would just call it any name. I've got V A for example. So I will have node number one, node number two. And as we already know, we will not apply KCL here to node uh, V out. Okay, so apply KCL to node number, number one. Assume the currents are leaving. So you will have VOS minus zero divided by R. R is 100 kilo plus VOS minus VA divided by another R, the same R, which is again 100 kilo equal to zero. Multiply everything times 100 kilo, you will have VOS plus VOS minus VA equal to zero, or your VA is equal to two VOS. So that is the first equation here. Then I will apply KCL to node number, number two. Again, as we said, in the ideal of M, the same thing applies. You don't need to uh, actually consider the direction of the current of the previous step. You could, but you don't have to. So assume the currents are actually leaving all the nodes. So uh, VA minus VOS divided by R, which is 100 kilo plus VA minus zero over RL, which is 2K. So VA over 2K plus the last current, VA minus V out divided by another 100K. And these are the three currents. So this is equal to zero. Remember KCL summation of currents is equal to zero. I will multiply everything times the least common denominator, which is 100K. So we'll have here VA minus VOS plus 50VA 
plus VA minus V out equal to zero. So VA 50 VA, so if we have 52 VA minus VOS equal to V out. Now VOS, we know it is equal to, so uh, is equal to, uh, sorry, VA is equal to two VOS. So I will come here 52 times, and instead of VA, this becomes two VOS minus VOS equal to V out. From this, your V out equal to 104 minus one, it is 103 VOS. Now VOS by itself is plus minus five volt. So this is equal to 103 times plus minus five millivolt. And the total voltage will be plus minus 5.5 millivolt. What is this? This is the output voltage, not due to the input. This is due to one of the non-ideal characteristic of op -amp, which is called the voltage offset. Okay. So these are two common examples. I found them in the final, in the exam. And there are some other two non-ideal characteristic. I will try to cover them as we progress in this set of questions. 